Hey guys, Dan the Wolfman here. First looks, first impressions. Never shot it before. PX4 Storm, the full size and 45 AARP. Uh, looks like it's got a nine round magazine in it. I believe they come with nine and 10 round magazines sometimes. Uh, this got a nine rounder. We're gonna see it is a range rental. So let's see if it functions. It's probably very dirty. And uh, I'm gonna be shooting some cheap ammo in it. So let's see if it functions with the steel case or not. Okay, first nine shots with this PX4 shot with the rotating barrel. Do first shot in DA, seven yards. Dead center. Here's our first nine shots. As you can see, this thing's very accurate. Considering I've never ever fired one before. And considering that it's two ammo. And the first shot was in DA. That's not bad for the first time with the new pistol. Show the pistol a little bit more. So it's a DASA. And to warm up, guys, I did shoot 50 rounds in a Breda uh, 92 series. Uh, Enox and 92 FS. Or, uh, you know, Peacock, now it's safe, back to fire. They do have different versions, including the interesting C version, Decock version, G version. Um, you can see the rotating barrel, four inch barrel on this, nine or 10 round magazines. Uh, it actually feels pretty good other than the, the slickness of the grip, which you've seen in other reviews, but it's my first time firing it. So now I'll do some more rapid fire stuff. Recoil was not bad at all. So yeah, actually the recoil was uh, almost negligible. Comparable to 92FS, if not even lighter. Of course, this is very slow ammo. At, like probably 710 feet per second instead of 800, like 850 like it should be. Okay guys, still at seven yards. Um, zoomed in a little bit more, but still at seven yards. I'm going from three o'clock in my uh, Phalanx holster, my pretty generic fit. Phalanx holster is actually a little tight, tighter than it was on the 92. Surprisingly worked with the 92 FS, uh, but it's working enough. I just got a good, got a good yank on it. I'm gonna do um, instead of two, what people call two shot drills, DASA. I think it's better to do a three shot drill. I'm gonna do three shot drill, going DA to SA, decocking, reholstering, and doing that three times in a row. So here we go, seven yards. Hey man, I don't want any trouble. Back off, man. Back off. Okay, it looks like one dead center, no center line, and one a little to the right, but still in the orange corner. These are very thin targets. So not that bad. Not that bad. Let's go again. Here we go. Uh, but rather than my grip that time, and you can see that. I really like the problem is it is too thick, too slippery in the grip, and it definitely affects the grip. One more time. Here we go. Okay, and I think my third shot went left. So you can see where the hits are um, not not perfect, but it is a 45, and uh, still not bad because those are very narrow targets. Uh, I'm liking the way it shoots. I'm liking its inherent accuracy. Uh, I'm liking the low recoil from the rotating barrel. I mean, it's a four inch barrel 45, but overall length is, I think instead of like eight and a half on an FS, it's like 7.5, 7.68, something like that. Um, so it's a big pistol, but for a bigger guy like me, it's not that big. It's too bad, it's so slippery on the sides, which affected me there. And, uh, wrap it up. So you would have to put some grip tape or something. I'm a fan of, I don't like the looks of. Um, but I'm starting to like this pistol, I'm gonna put some more rounds through it. Okay guys, now five yards doing uh, Mozambiques. I'll do three Mozambiques in a row at five yards. Of course, starting from DA first. DA SA, SA, and then decocking, reholstering. Okay, obviously, so. 
No, dude, I don't want to trouble, man. Back off, dude. Hey, please, man, I don't want to trouble, man. I don't want to trouble. Huh! Through the headshot, kind of slid in my grip. Let's try it again. Hey, back off, dude. Back off, dude. I don't want any trouble. Yeah, that's more like it. Uh, and even the transition to the headshot again, I felt like it, I had to readjust. Rotated in my grip a bit. It's too bad. Otherwise, it seems like a great pistol. Back off, dude. Back off. I don't want any trouble, man. Huh! Okay, I'm starting to get the feel. I kind of point shot that one a little bit better, and I think the hits were pretty okay. Um, so, kind of, kind of, kind of still. Okay, guys, I've only got a few rounds left. I'm gonna do um, three, and then reholster, and then three. So triple tap at five yards from concealment. Uh, generic Phalanx holster. That's a little tight for it. But here we go. Well, back off, dude. Hey, I don't want any trouble, man. I don't want any trouble. Huh! Okay, not bad. Just a tad low on one of those. But center line, it wasn't bad. Let's do it again. Hey, I don't want any trouble, man. I don't want any trouble. Uh, and that time I just point shoot, shot, I barely picked up the front sight the first time because I did a side step to the right on that. And uh, you can see they were all centered. Uh, so that's not bad. I'm going to pause it there and reload. Okay, I don't know if I got seven or eight left. I'll do, uh, what do I do? I'll do the same thing, a triple tap. Hey, back off, dude. Back off, dude. I don't want to man. I don't want to Little low, basically centered though. Again, that was all point shooting. I uh, have either three or four left. We'll see. I'll do three of the body, and if there's one left, I'll go one of the head. Go to back up. Beep. That looks like I got one left. Beep. Okay. So guys, that was 50 rounds. First shots, first impressions with the PX4 Storm. I like it. Um, in fact, it's kind of the unsung hero of the Breda family. And it's too bad. If they would redesign the grip, reissue these pistols, especially in the 9mm compact version, um, you know, I think people would really like them. Uh, I like this 45. This could even be an appendix carried gun for me because I'm a big guy. Uh, you need some talon grips on it or something, which, of course, kind of screws up the look of your pistol. Um, so it's too bad. Beretta, maybe they need to be re reissuing stuff, because, like, the 92X um, Centurion GR, decock only, 92X Centurion GR, they should be marketing that as the go-to modern carry pistol. And the PX4 Storm, especially the compact 9mm, the same way, I'd like to see them reissue these with a different grip. The front and the back isn't horrible, but the side is just way too slippery, so it's moving around a little bit. Overall, though, it's a pretty good gun, and it's something I'd actually think about uh, picking up. Of course, Langdon Tactical and stuff, you know, not as sharp edges and night sights, and, um, you know, so obviously it would be a good platform. It just needs a little bit of work. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Please thumbs up, please share, please subscribe, and I'll catch you on the flip side. So for point shooting, not so bad. Center line, a little bit low, but again, not so not so bad. Thanks. Yo, homie, is that my briefcase? You want it back? One more guy.